Hi everyone, I'm Lenny Sportkitter and today we'll be talking about your mental health. So at the end of 2021, I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder during a ProTR training camp. Um, in the weeks leading up to the camp, I had no appetite whatsoever and lost heaps of weight. I wasn't able to sleep. Um, I was crying all the time. I had no energy to do anything that I love. Um, so yeah, I basically just wanted to stop living. Um, I was in a very lonely and a very dark place in my life, um, which makes me sad to think about it, but I also believe that there was a reason for it happening. Um, God has a reason with everything, but yeah, I'm excited to be sharing my journey with you and to show you strategies um, and give you tips and advice on how to have a healthier mental mind. Yeah. I would define mental health awareness as the ongoing effort in reducing the stigma around mental illness and mental health conditions by sharing our personal experiences. Often because of these misconceptions around mental illness and mental fitness, people tend to suffer in silence and these conditions go untreated. So. By sharing our personal experiences, we start the conversation that if elite athletes can feel and think this way, then it is normal for myself to feel and think this way. And the most important thing to know is not to be ashamed of it. So the benefits of mental health awareness would be providing a better understanding of how mental illness affects a person's life. It can also help to reduce the stigma of mental illness. It can help to recognize early signs and risks of mental illness. And then also it can give confidence to people that are actually trying to help those who are suffering. Mental health is important because it can put you in a good mood and also enhance your self-esteem. Um, a good mental health can help you through those difficult times um, when it gets hard in life and um, a good mental health can help with your creativity and we all know that when we have a creativity flow and um, we want to actually try new things yeah so also when you try new things you become more productive and when you're more productive then you can reach your full potential um, and that is what we ultimately want in life is to reach our full potential and that's what everyone wants for us as well um, and then also with the good mental health it helps with contributions to your family to the community to society to all those people around you um, they feed off of that positive vibes that positive energy and then also it can help with those relationships with people in your lives so yeah I would agree that mental health is very important hmm mental health techniques I would say the first one is don't go it alone you have friends you have family they love you they care for you they want to help you they want to support you they want to listen so don't go into your shell go out to them and with that said don't be afraid to ask for help um, they are there to lift the burden off your shoulders they are there to support you and have your back even if you don't think or feel that way at the moment believe me it is the truth the next thing I would say is by being physical there's nothing as great as sweating out those thoughts and those feelings and comparing those two would be having a healthy diet. I know sometimes you don't have the appetite or you don't want to eat, but it is important to get the right nutrients into your body. Um, and then pair that with some relaxation activity, which could be meditation or mindfulness exercises or breathing techniques, doing yoga, doing a puzzle or painting. Well, that was what I did. Um, or just 
doing something that you know you used to love. Maybe that brings back some feelings of happiness and positivity and calmness and that's what you ultimately want. Um, yeah, and then also just listening to your body. Um, sleep is very important. Um, again, it might be hard but those relaxation techniques will help you calm your mind and then get a little bit of sleep in. Most people have their own anxiety, their own stress, their own depression um, and that you don't want to burden them with your problems, um, with your feelings because you don't want to add to that stress. Believe me that when I say they want you to burden them with your feelings um, and your thoughts, they want to help you and you know what? Sometimes when you open up to a person, that person may feel the same way and they might, they might think, oh my goodness, someone feels the same way. Um, and then you, you guys can help each other, you guys can support each other um, through this thing. Um, because I can 100% tell you it is not fun being alone. Um, I was fortunate to have great friends and great family behind me um, and I wish for anyone who is feeling the same way that you have that same support um, yeah so let's remove the stigma that there's something wrong with people who have a mental illness you know what it's part of us it's part of us um, it's part of God's plan so I want to wish you all good luck on your journey and always please shout out when you need any help we are always here to listen and to be there for you